Hey, Steve Wagner, founder, broker, mentor, coach, manager of the 4,000 Agent Virtual Properties Realty. And I'm going to explain to you a principle, a concept that will turn your career around and take you from being maybe an average agent to the top 1% in the United States. That principle is called the one third principle. So let me back up a second and explain to what, why I created the one third principle. The one third principle came about with a lot of agents coming up to me and saying something like, hey Steve, how do I allocate the time that I have in a day? How do I structure my day? I've had agents come up and say, Steve, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing every day. I wake up every day, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to be doing? Sometimes it's just uh, the answer to the question, Steve, what do I have to do to, be, uh, to, to reach maximum success? So the answer is the one-third principle. And so the one-third principle just real simply is dividing your, your day into thirds. Prioritize thirds. So there's one-third that's their A's, the next third that are B's, the next third that are C's. And making sure you work on that priority. Let's start from the top. Let's talk about what your A one-third uh, priorities are. The A one-third priori priorities are doing everything in your power with your current clients and your hot prospects to, to, to continue that momentum, to, to continue doing a great job for them, you know, having them believe that you are the, the best agent, you're on top of things, doing what you say you're gonna do, all that type of stuff keeping those people happy because if you don't keep, that's how you build your career uh, by making people like that happy. Now, I just said building your career. Let's go to the second third. Let's go to the B third. Um, this is, if you really wanna know where you build your career, it's right here. You build it on this third and this third is, is might be the most important one. This is the one that you absolutely try your hardest not to skip. Okay, and what am I talking about? I'm talking about high impact prospecting. Um, anything that is not passive in, in, as far as prospecting goes, but things that you're actually rolling up your sleeve and you're getting after it. And you, these are things that you know that there's a high cause and effect, effect being good things, getting, getting clients, getting, you know, getting customers to work with. Um, anything that, that resembles that in, in prospecting, that's what I'm talking about is B, that second third. Okay, things like even having prospecting conversations where at the end of the conversation, you just ask them, oh, by the way, are you gonna be buying or selling now in the near future? Or, you know, are door knocking, going after for sale by owners expires? Hey, I'm not gonna go down the list. I teach a whole class 100 ways to, to get clients um, but when you're really proactive, uh, and so you, here's the key, you do not want to skip it and you want to make sure you put a third of your day in there. There's only one, one reason why you would not put the, a third in, of your day in there. And that's if the A just blew things up. And that's a good thing. If you're, if you're just so really truly busy with A's and those are clients, current clients and, and, and hot, hot prospects, hey, you're doing good, but that's not going to happen every day. So you want to make sure that you put a third of your day, your time on this. Okay, let's move to the third, 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 or the C, the C priorities. These are important things. Like something like what Stephen Covey would say. These are important, but not urgent. These are important, but the consequences are either very low or there are no consequences or the consequences are very long term. So, um, but they are important. And what it was, Steve, what are you talking about with that C, that, that, that third, third? Well, we're talking about going to training. Yeah, we want you to go to training classes. We want you to attend key meetings. We want you to work on your Facebook business page. We want you to do all that stuff that makes you a good agent. But that's the third priority. Do not, where, where agents go wrong is they make that the first priority or the second priority and they skip the B one, the prospecting one all together. So if you go down this, this phase, A, B, C, and you really do mind those priorities, you time block um, the, the B, the B third, the second third, man, you're gonna be so successful. Now, there is a fourth element, because guess what? In a lot of days, you, you, you know, we don't have much in the A, 
We did do our B. We really don't have much in the C. Uh, then, then what's left? Well, then we create that as a D. That's the fourth element. We try to, when you say you're working, you try not to do the fourth element. But then whatever's left over, these are more pleasurable things you can put in the fourth element. But anyways, let's get back to the, to the basics here. If you can structure your day by prioritizing A, B, C. Now, one quick question. What happens if I don't have anything on the A's? Well, then you pour it down the pipeline, okay? You do add more to the B, to the prospecting. You do add more to the C, okay? Um, what happens if uh, A just dominates the whole day? Well, that's not gonna happen a lot. If it dominates the whole day, so be it. Good luck, you know, congratulations to you. Uh, rock on. So anyways, I think you understand what we're what I'm trying to say. If, if you want to succeed, this is how you'll look at each day. This is how you'll try to structure your day. I invite you to try this out. I know it'll work for you. Um, good luck.